Okay, so now we want to go get our character to bring into our level. And as uh, we already discussed at the beginning, we're going to be using Mixamo. If you don't recall, what you do is you basically uh, create an account using your Google. Uh, for our school board, That's uh, we have Google accounts, so we're able to do that. Now, it already went and pre-selected this character. And if you don't remember where the characters are, you just click on this tab. There's quite a few. And now these are kind of cartoony and they're not high poly, which means, you know, they're, they're, they're going to be okay for school computers. And that's, you know, in other words, they're not the highest, fanciest looking characters ever, but that's fine. So uh, the first thing you want to do is pick a character, which I've already done. And, you know, you can click around and look at it. And obviously this is in the T pose. What we're going to want to do is uh, go and uh, bring in uh, an animation. So we're going to click on this. And what kind of, I don't, well, there's a lot of uh, different kind of animations we could use. But I'm just going to have the character just standing there. So an idle stance. So uh, look for something with their standing that looks kind of cool. Maybe just that. So the character is uh, like that. You could try a couple different ones. Now that doesn't look good. You got to try to imagine what is it going to look like in my scene. Okay. So that's how the character looks like. You, you know, there might be one where the bow's in the air, but I, you know, and you can also play around a little bit with this here. To, to see character arm space so that it doesn't touch. You don't want it to look too silly. So when you're, when I recommend you take a few minutes to look here because this is the character you're going to be bringing into your scene. And once you're happy with that, what we're going to do now is we're going to only bring in one look. So I'm going to download this and You know, once it's downloaded, I'll be able to bring it into uh, my Unreal Engine. Okay. And what you're going to see is it'll bring it in as an FBX. So this is that character. So what you do now is you go to your Unreal Engine. And I forgot to fix this in the last uh, video. I, I want to bring this back to the normal look. So go to Window. Under Layouts, go to Default Editor Layout. And it's back to normal. So under Contents. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it character. A, I'm only bringing in one if you want to bring in more than one. Um, oops, I pressed enter. I'm just rename this to characters. Okay. And then I'm going to click open. And now I want to import that character. So import to game characters. And I have to go get it. And it's in my downloads, which are currently uh, going here, I think. So there's my character. There she is. And you select animated time, even though we're probably not going to do anything with it. And then import all. There's a lot of settings in there, but mostly just change the animated time. And you're going to be able to bring the character in. Now we do have this player start. We're going to keep it in there for now. Okay, so there's a lot that has just been brought in. Um, again, you'll see materials that go with that, uh, that character. These have all been done and brought in. The one that we really care about is this one here. So this is an idle animation. And uh, just by clicking and dragging it in, put it where you want. Uh, because we're going to be taking uh, some photos. Okay. Uh, with this so that looks pretty good so you can use your alt button and then you know the wer keys if it was too small it probably is the right size but if you if you size everything with your player start you should be okay if you don't remember the player start is this thing so you know you might want it a little bit bigger but you know otherwise keep it that that way and it's important to use the middle so that it, it, it kind of like if you want the character to be taller, you can just go like that. But it'll look a little bit awkward. So, uh, and, and use your alt and then just place it. So what we're going to do before uh, we uh, do any photography or anything, we're actually going to bring in uh, some fog to make it look a little bit cooler. And we're also going to play around with the lights. 
okay? So uh, that's it for bringing in your character. If you're bringing in two characters, you could place them in different parts of the scene. And uh, when you go and take photos, you can, uh, uh, you know, adjust it in that way. All right. So if you have any questions, please let me know.